let's now begin to look at COVID-19, the update for you. How many is it? Man, you not go. That is not the issue. That's not the issue. Somebody was about going to the hospital with the security agencies have over the past four days been implementing the restrictions imposed by government with some areas recording incidents. This takes the form of many not obeying the restrictions or allegations of abuse. Information Minister Kojo Poinkroma addressed the issue. The Ghana Police Service leading the joint security operations and the instructions that persons who do not comply with these uh, restrictions don't have to be beaten or subjected to some inhumane. Ghana's recorded cases currently stands at 204 with five deaths and three persons in critical condition. Director General of the Health Service, Dr. Patrick Abwaji, gave this update. People. There are three of them who are getting oxygen and we are, believe, we are informed that they are getting better. A total of 38 has been discharged for home care and we are following them on daily basis with home visits and they are actively getting better. Which hospital has four cases. They are all there in there between, they've had a case since for take between 13 and 19 days. Um, we are waiting until the 21st day I mean, last you are reached 21 days, and then you are retested, and if you are negative, then you, can, you are discharged. He also revealed the service was expecting to take delivery of some more personal protective equipment. PPEs remain a major challenge for all of us, and I think it's not just Ghana, but it's a global challenge. Um, we continue to provide as many as can be put and put in there, this, and then more continues coming in. We have received a significant number of coveralls that is being distributed today and some masks uh, last night, which is being distributed. But these are definitely not going to be enough. And so we urge facility heads to come and show appropriate distribution of the masks. Generally, majority of our people will yet need masks, nose masks, and gloves. And that's what we're going for more than 95, 98% of all health workers. We want to ensure that that's available. We've started the process of um, having some local production of one. And what I'm wearing is a local production that uh, is comfortable, it can be washed and real. And I think this is something we want to promote. We want to ensure, encourage all people to wear masks if you can, especially those who have flu like symptoms to wear masks. But the president has problem who should wear their own masks. The pandemic outbreak experts say has the potential to affect mental health of persons resident in affected countries. The Ghana Psychological Association has been sharing some tips. You can play indoor games with them. It's an opportunity for us to tell them analysis stories which we have lost. Education is not just about a teacher standing in front of you. These are all things we want to engage our children. Let's have time with them and work with them. As parents, we want to also make time to exercise. If you don't have a hobby, this is an opportunity for us to look for one and activate it. This two weeks special lockdown is telling us how retirement will be like. We must find things to stay active. Take an online course. Social distancing does not mean emotionally we should be distant. We can connect with people by using electronic means. We know the telcos have supported Ghana, giving us options, promotions, and others. Let's leverage on this. We may do our own pedicure and manicure at home. Remember the hashtag remains stay at home. Wash your hand regularly and use your sanitizers as well. Right, so that's by way of some update for you as you have gone through this period of a measured lockdown.